I actually have not opened up this tank yet. Wow. Okay. Oh, wow. This actually has, I'll flip this around. There's tons of space back here actually for the heater. This tank is actually pretty dope. What is going on everybody? It's your boy Anthony, Long Island Fish Guy here. And on today's video, we're not going to be down here in the fish room. No. We're actually going to be going upstairs into my office. And the reason why is because we're going to be taking a look at the Fluval 15 gallon flex aquarium. That is going to be an aquarium that is made for the fish that are inside of this tank. I actually have this Scooter Denny puffer, which is right over here. That is going to be kind of like the showcase fish for that a tank. Also, we have the Neon Tetras and some Cerby Corridoras. Due to what's going on right now in the world, I have been working from home and we're going to be taking a look at my office setup in just a little bit. Um, and I kind of wanted to have, I have all these tanks down here and such, and I wanted to, you know, really kind of have a tank with me upstairs. So what better than to have this Fluval Flex 15? It's going to be a great tank and today we're going to unbox it. I've never actually opened this box yet, so we're going to take a look today. Day. If you do want to ever consider buying this tank, you might want to take a look at this video first. If you are also new to my channel, we also have these freshwater stingrays, some really cool peacock bass. We have George the Oscar fish. We have a dope red wolf fish right here. Everyone loves this fish. Even have this new arowana. This is a gold arowana. It's a latistic arowana. Very cool fish. Moving him actually to this 20 gallon. He was initially when I first got him in the 125, but we moved him because we didn't want those peacock bass to eat them. But let's go upstairs guys and unbox that Fluval Aquarium. If you guys do like this video, be sure to like the video. And if you're not subscribed to my channel already, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other content like this. All right guys, so this is my office setup. Uh, it's a little bit messy right now. Uh, just because this room was actually being used as like a storage room for a little bit. But this is basically where I work. So while I'm, you know, working over here and stuff, I very rarely have a TV ever on, typically for lunch breaks or something. But I'm also editing from here as well. I edit here, I work here. Having an aquarium right here, right next to me is going to be awesome. Right here is where the tank is. This is the Fluval Flex. I got it in white just to kind of match the furniture and everything. This is the substrate we're going to be using, but I'm going to put that in a little bit. That's the uh, Carib C Eco Complete. But without further ado, I'm going to take this into the other room, which had a little bit more light, and we're going to get this bad boy unboxed. All right, guys. So this box is actually pretty big and pretty tall, actually. So rather than putting it up on a table, we're going to check it out on the floor. <laughs> this is kind of like my first impressions of this. All right. I have no idea how to take this out. Well, that's one way to do it. <laughs> Whew. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna put this up on the table so we can take a little bit of a deeper look. All right guys, so this is the tank. Uh, as you can see here, it has a curved um, front. It's kind of like a bow front, uh, but it actually is the opposite. Instead of it going uh, horizontally, the bow kind of goes vertically. I built this stand a few days ago. And it's in my office right now, and it's cool because it kind of curves with it. I'm a big fan of the Fluval Aquasky LEDs. This actually looks like it is actually like the same type of technology. And what's also really cool, is it comes with this foam mat. It's really important actually. I don't <laughs> I don't do it, but I plan on doing this more often when I actually set up new tanks and such. It's really important to have like a foam mat underneath your aquarium like this because it makes sure that everything is kind of like touching so that all aspects of the aquarium are actually being secured rather than being on like a wavy surface or something. One thing I didn't realize was that this fact, when I got the white color was the fact that this background is white. I was looking forward to it actually being black, but I'm actually kind of okay with the white. Um, I did a little bit of research and such, and it's a little bit different. All of my aquariums in my fish room are actually black. So having a white tank with a white background might be a little bit of a nice change of pace. All right, got a little box back here and we're gonna take a look at the, the back part 
of this tank in just a little bit. But let's see what's actually in this packaging first. By the way, this is not a sponsored video at all. Uh, Fluval did not send me this tank. I actually got this tank as a Christmas present. I actually got the Fluval 9 gallon first, but wanted to go a little bit bigger because of that Schooner Daddy puffer. So in this box, there's all of the uh, filter things, which we'll be looking at in just a second, as well as the remote control for the lights. Now the Fluval Aquasky LEDs like I have downstairs, they actually have, you can be operated by your phone. This actually looks like it operates essentially with the same exact controls you got your RGB but it's all manually I don't think you think it's basically like on and off no app control no nothing I do know on the bigger size the 32 gallon I know that it basically is branded as the Aquasky LED and it is actually app controlled so guys this is actually the back of the aquarium you can actually kind of see it because of the window that's right here you got your chambers what's gonna happen is we're gonna put this this is the motor this is essentially the filter this is like an overflow system this goes down into here this part here is your output basically what happens is you plug this on the water starts sucking in it goes all the water kind of fills up in here we'll probably actually put some extra mechanical filtration on this probably some like filter floss maybe on like the front part here then what happens is that all gets sucked in brought into this chamber directly in it comes in the, right here is your chemical filtration comes in uh, on top i don't use chemical filtration so we're probably gonna leave this out Probably do two sets of this, which is your your biological filtration, which basically ha homes all of your biological media, which will make sure all of your ammonia and nitrate levels stay down. And it goes all right in here, which is your mechanical filtration. So let's all pick up all that muck and dirt. Then it goes flows into here to get sucked back out and into the aquarium. This is actually my second Fluval aquarium that's like this. Uh, that old beta fish I had back in the day uh, was actually in a three gallon Fluval aquarium. This is extremely similar to that. Just a bigger setup. Oh wow, this actually has, I'll flip this around. This is actually pretty cool because it actually has two um, inputs here actually. One is on top and the other one is actually in the bottom. There it is, right there on the bottom, if you could see it there. Very cool actually. So it doesn't only suck from the top, it also does from the bottom. And you can also take these grates off if you don't really want them. The one last thing I do want to cover here is this, this like kind of white honeycombing. It's pretty cool, I did a little bit of research on this. This basically shows that um, it, it'll break the water line so you actually won't see where the water line is in the aquarium. I've never understood or knew what this was up here, but it basically shows, you know, it stops that water line so you just don't see the, the actual top. Since this is like a kind of a rimless aquarium, you know, they don't want you to see that top, top water line. Also, probably in the back here, um, I, cause I, I just looked, this, this is actually like a little perforation here. You could open this up, uh, probably for the heater. So you can actually put your heater in the back here as well. There's tons of space back here actually for the heater. So take a look at that space. There is a ton of space back here. You could probably fit a pretty decent sized heater as well as back here. It's probably about a two inch gap here um, to fit basically anything that you need inside of these spaces. So I'm definitely gonna put my heater over here and it'll also probably be pretty optimal. Or yeah, I can even put it over here, technically. It'll probably be better off over here because the water will then shoot right back out after being heated and disperse inside the aquarium. Overall, guys, I'm actually pretty impressed by this aquarium. It's pretty cool. Um, it's actually a little bit bigger than I thought. And I'm just kind of looking at the side profile here. It's Pretty cool at looking at it from the side. This tank is actually pretty dope. I think it's a very cool, it's also a little bit of like an unusual aquarium. Um, it's pretty cool in the sense that it is a bow front, but from the opposite side. I actually just recently got rid of a bow front aquarium, so it's kind of cool to get back in the bow front game. But I'm really excited, guys. I think that the stocking I, I, I have planned for this, that you guys have already seen, is actually the perfect fit for this setup. And we're gonna be getting into the planted tank arena if you would say uh with this aquarium which is something i've never really touched before back 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 in the day i used to have a 29 gallon planted aquarium it was very basic i had like amazon swords and stuff in there uh which is probably something very similar to here what i'm going to be doing with a little bit extra as well so if you guys do want to continue seeing content about this tank and kind of the journey as to what i'm going to be doing with this tank be sure to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you can actually see the content as i come out with it but that's going to be it for this video so if you guys did like this video be sure to subscribe check out some of the other content here on my channel Ding that notification bell if you already subscribed. But most importantly, don't forget to fish on.